Good morning, everybody. I'm Michael Smith with Michael Smith Lake Tawakany Guide Surfers out here on Lake Tawakany in East Texas. This is the catfish capital of Texas. Today we're going to be discussing brining bait, preserving your bait, taking care of your bait. So whenever you use it, it's going to be just as fresh as it was when you pull it out of the water. A lot of people ask me all the time, well, Mike, how do you preserve that bait? You know, every time I freeze bait, it just falls off the hook and you get them little needle bones and it's just nasty. Well, you need to preserve it. You need to freeze that bait as soon as you catch it. And I do that by making a brine. Now, a brine is going to consist of, preferably, lake water and salt and ice. Uh, right now, I'm going to use my water hose. I'm not at the lake. I got a little bit of bait left over. Uh, I bagged up and it's in the freezer. Uh, I bag them up. I got six rods on my boat, so I bag up six pieces of bait uh, in each bag. So I'm only thawing out what I need. I thaw them slowly, uh, naturally, so they're just as good as they was whenever uh, I caught them. So right now I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around and I'm going to show you how I brine this bait and what we do. All right. Got my ice chest. About half full of ice. The more ice, the better. Um, got rock salt. Here. About five pounds of bait right here. I'm going to go ahead and preserve that because I'm going to use it in two days. I will not be fishing tomorrow. And I don't want to uh, freeze it in the freezer. I don't want to get no frost on it at this moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little water. Put some water on this ice. I don't want to get a whole lot in there. Go a little bit at a time. It's always best to use the lake water that you're catching the fish out of. That ain't enough. What I'm trying to do is get a slush here. I will end up making a slush with this. Spending more time filling up my cooler than I am watching y'all. All right, here we go. Now, that's about the right consistency of water to ice ratio. We get some rock salt. It's four pounds of rock salt. I'm gonna go ahead and pour all this in here. I'm gonna leave about a quarter pound in my box. That's what I'm gonna put on top. And stir this up. That's already freezing. It's already freezing. Get my bait. Put it in my, my brine. I want to get this bait underneath that water there. Get a little bit more water. It's already freezing on me. Making a brine. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna get these baits under the water. Under the water. Yeah, that's very, very cold. Damn that. Dang, that hurts my hand. Okay. I can't push it down much more. I'm gonna take the rest of my rock salt here and sprinkle it on top. I'll be able to come back in 30 minutes and that whole top right there is going to be a solid sheet of ice. Now I'm flash freezing that bait. That bait will be flash froze before you know it. You can see how everything moved already. It's already freezing. All right. That's how you brine bait right there. Go ahead and put the lid on it. And I will leave that on there in that brine for about an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, just to make sure that bait's good and froze. And then I'm going to pull my plug on my um, 
in my cooler and drain what water's out. And then that fish will be frozen inside that ice. So it'll be ready to use in a couple of days when I get ready to use it. And I do the same thing when I'm bagging ice, uh, bagging bait. I'll put it in there and I'll brine it for an hour or two. I'll drain the, the water off of it and then bag it up. I, I put six pieces per bag depending on the size of the bait and then I'm ready to go. And uh, I hope that little tip helped. I hope y'all have a great day and we will see you on the lake soon. I do have trips available for all this winter for trophy catfish here on Lake Tawakany. If you ever need anything, give me a call. I'm Michael Smith, and thanks for watching.